The developer of ChatGPT OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman's recent interview with ABC News' Rebecca Jarvis is chilling. In this interview, we have the CEO of a major player in the artificial intelligence game stating clearly that artificial intelligence, quote, will likely eliminate millions of jobs, increase racial bias, misinformation, and create machines that are smarter than all of humanity combined, and other consequences so terrible we can't even imagine. You've said AI will likely eliminate millions of jobs. It could increase racial bias, misinformation, create machines that are smarter than all of humanity combined, and other consequences so terrible we can't even imagine what they could be. This is a man who has seen behind the curtain. This is a man who would be in a position to know when asked why, quote, he created this technology, close quote, he says, because, quote, I think it can do the opposite of those things too. Why, Sam? I think it can do the opposite of all of those things too. Words have power, they have meaning. He ended the sentence with the word too, meaning also. The CEO of an artificial intelligence company who would be in a position to understand what is happening in the lab, stating clearly that AI will wipe out jobs, increase racial bias, create machines more intelligent than all of humanity combined, and have other consequences so terrible we can't even imagine, effectively states that this is an inevitable byproduct of artificial intelligence, and that it will also, also do the opposite. But he assures us that, quote, we have safety teams, close quote. Okay, well, I guess everything is okay then. His primary concern is the thing that he refers to as the hallucinations problem. Quote, the model will confidently state things as facts that are entirely made up. I, I think the right way to think of the models that we create um, is a reasoning engine, not a fact database. The thing that I try to caution people the most is what we call the hallucinations problem. And the more you use the model, because it's right so often, the more you come to just rely on it and, and not check like, ah, this is just a language model. When we think this through, it's completely possible to imagine a new dark age ushered in by artificial intelligence, a future where truth is irretrievable. The model will confidently state things as if they were facts that are entirely made up. Where it becomes literally impossible to determine the fundamental nature of our reality, a kind of postmodern hyperreal hellscape. Social media has already driven us deeper into an inescapable labyrinth of the simulacra. Take a quick look at this AI-derived, bold glamour TikTok face filter. This filter has been used over two million times. It's crazy. I don't look anything like this, but the filter itself looks natural. Like, there's some skin texture there. I've seen other people use it and then do like a big reveal, and they've looked pretty much exactly the same. Perhaps just less contoured makeup, but... I don't want to say this about myself, but I actually look ugly when I take this filter off. I've done a lot of work to unlearn that I owe prettiness to anyone. I don't think my brain knows how to deal with looking like this one minute and then this the next. And these Arnold Schwarzenegger, Kanye West deep fakes. Just drag your nets along the buck. On a good day, you can catch over 100 pounds of shrimp. Everything goes all right. Two men shrimp in 10 hours, less what you spend on gas. You can Down to sergeant. Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, Gump? You told me to, Drill Sergeant. Jesus H. Christ! This is a new company record. If it wouldn't be a waste of such a damn fine enlisted man, I'd recommend you for OCS, Private Gump. You are going to be a general someday, Gump. Now, just as simple your weapon and continue. Anyway, like I was saying... The military was confusing times. I cannot wait till I go run across the country Ballet, with the Nikes. Ballet. And not the Yeezys. <laughs> I think my best good friend Papa will get cancelled. Well, before I say anything else, I want to say no matter what you've done, you deserve respect. Even if you make mistakes, you're lovable. And it doesn't matter your looks, skills, age, or size, or anything. You're worthwhile. No one can ever take that away from you. I mean, they're trying to help him. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So I fucking ran up behind him with a hatchet. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> Yeah, that woman was in danger. He just finished uh, what looked like at the time killing somebody. And if I hadn't done that, he would have killed more people. 
Like when we think this through, when, when we stop, when we stop to think of, think about this, and we look at the words of the of the CEO of OpenAI, and we think about the social media landscape as it currently exists, I think there is the real possibility that, given the fact that that OpenAI is more of a reasoning engine that produces its own set of facts, and if you if you if you if you think about that commingled with its capacity to create to create imagery that is is um, is uh, completely believable and indistinguishable from from the real. I think there is that there is the capacity for us to enter a condition culturally, a kind of new dark age where where the truth, those things that are real, that that which does not disappear when we close our eyes becomes irretrievable, that our capacity to determine those things that actually happened and what is actually happening in the world becomes irretrievable due to the, due to the shit storm of, of the hyper real that artificial intelligence has the capacity to, to create both through nefarious actors as well as uh, the reasoning engine itself. There has been so much concern over the last five years regarding the potential effects of AI on low-skilled jobs. The most common concern has been about the effect of autonomous the, the effect of autonomous driving, autonomous driving on the trucking industry. Until August of this year, with the release of ChatGPT, there has been little to no mainstream concern as to the effect on of AI on white-collar jobs. Yet, if we stop to think through the ramifications of this technology, even briefly we can see that the immediate threat to jobs is to knowledge workers, to coders, designers, radiologists, doctors, writers, PR people, commercial illustrators, and the ilk. These are the jobs that are immediately threatened. Why? With self-driving systems, one simple mistake could potentially lead to hundreds of deaths in a highway pileup. The level of perfection that will be demanded in order to roll out self-driving systems is a magnitude greater than for knowledge workers. Who cares if your book il illustration is kind of wrong or if your copywriting is not 100% perfect, no one will die. And therefore, these systems pose a very real threat to almost all kinds of knowledge work. There's the very real possibility that even highly techn technical jobs like computer programming and radiology, that those jobs will disappear nearly overnight, leaving jobs in these fields at the very most technical level only. We can also imagine uh, an AI-induced future where unskilled, dangerous jobs are the last to be threatened by AI.